Okay, so this talk is going to be about slight variations of separable differential equations. So separable differential equations are equations of this form. You have an independent variable x, a dependent variable y, and they're equations where the derivative is expressed multiplicatively separable fashion, function of x times function of y. And the way you solve it is you separate the variables like this and integrate. And in addition, you have to worry about stationary solutions and partly stationary solutions, etc. Uh, this is actually the explicit separable form. It's already written with y prime in terms of x and y. Now, in this talk, I want to talk about some variations of separability. These are situations which are pretty close to separable. You can do a bit of manipulation and bring them in a separated form, but then they are not already given in this form. Okay? So you have to do some manipulation. So there are five types of uh, things that I would like to talk about. Okay, that's the list here. Now, the last two here, substitution and factorization, I cannot talk about right now. Or I don't want to talk about right now because these are techniques which deserve their own videos. And in fact, I do have videos on these later. If you're watching in sequence, they come much later. And they're basically techniques to reduce complicated equations to simpler ones. And in some cases, those simpler ones could be separable. Okay. So that's for separate videos. I want to talk about these three techniques here. The first is separable but not explicit. So explicit means that the derivative is written in terms of the other thing. So y prime is brought completely on one side. In this case, first order case. Okay. Uh, you could have a separable differential equation which is not explicit. So what do I mean by that? Well, you could have a differential equation, something like this, x y prime is y squared plus 1 sine x, okay, so you have something times y prime is something in x and y. Now this is not directly in this form, however, you can bring it in this form just by bringing the x to the other side. Okay, now it is exactly in this form and now you can just uh, separate the variables the usual way. Okay, so if you have a situation where y prime is not already explicitly given, you have something multiplied with it, you can first clear that out, bring everything to one side, anything other than y prime to one side, then see if you can separate it out and then solve. There, there may be stationary solutions. When you when you are moving anything to the denominator, you should check whether that identically being zero somehow gives you a stationary solution. So you should just check that. Okay, but the general idea is just bring everything to one side and then try to separate. In this case, it just took one step. Okay, so that's a simple idea of separable but not explicit. The next is separable after algebraic manipulation. Okay, these are situations where you have it written in terms of x and y, but the function of x times function of y form is not directly given to you. So let's say you have something like this. Well, it's not directly written in a function of x times function of y style. However, you can bring it in that form. How? Think. So what you do is you write x e to the x square, y e to the minus y square. So you use that e to the something is just uh, the e to the power of a sum is just e to the power of one piece times e to the power of the other piece. Okay. So uh, so basically some tricky algebraic manipulation and you have it in this form. Now after this it's just this usual story. Right? I'm, I'm not solving these completely. I just want to illustrate the step that involves separating out the factors. Let me do another one. So let's do y prime plus y square is x square y square minus x square plus 1. Now this you may say, oh, well, how is this separable? It's not a product of things, it's a sum of things. 
Well, I say just uh, try it. Okay, let's try it. So take a look at this and try it. So what happens? Let's first try to bring the other stuff, stuff other than y prime to one side. You get x squared y squared minus x squared minus y squared plus 1. Hope this is all clear, visible. Now, take a minute to factorize this. So it's x squared minus 1 y squared minus 1 and now we notice that with the factorized form we have function of x times function of y which means you can do exactly the usual procedure right so even things which don't look like they are in factorized form maybe you can do some algebraic manipulation and bring them in factorized form okay it's not always possible but there are situations where you can do that and you should just look at it a little carefully to make sure that, that, that you're not missing out something like that okay so this was separable but not explicit you just cleared out the uh, coefficient of y prime this was these were examples where it's already separable but it's not in factor form you have to do the factorization yourself okay now i want to talk about separable after function application so there's a lot to talk about here But what I, I'll just do an example which I won't complete here because completing the example is, is is beyond the scope of this video. We maybe we'll do this in a separate video. So, oops. so here's the differential question: Y is So let's just do a simple one. So dy dx cubed is y squared. Okay, so this is simple, right? Well, you have dy dx. Now, this is not a first degree differential equation. It's a first order differential equation because you're going only up to the first derivative. Okay. But it's not first degree. It's in fact degree three in the derivative. Right. So the, what you need to do is you need to first of all, you need to get rid of this cube here. Well, how do you do that? You take cube roots both sides. So what happens when you take cube roots both sides? You'll get dy dx is y squared to the one third which is y to the two thirds now this is separable in fact it's just dy dx is purely a function of y the function of x is just one okay so this is is already in a separable form okay so the idea was you have this function applied on top of the derivative here okay and you want to get rid of that function by applying its inverse function okay and then once you apply the inverse function then you got rid of this complicated function on the derivative and you got it in a separable form okay so when you have first order not first degree those are the situations where maybe you want to do a fun function application to make it first degree and after you made it first degree maybe it also became separable okay now let's do the example i was originally uh, planning to do planning to talk about that's y is arctan x y prime okay so what can we do with this well the problem is the y prime it's first of this multiplier by x and then you're applying this function arctan so we have to do something to get rid of this arctan when you apply the function tan to both sides okay and tan of arc tan of anything is just back to that thing so tan y is x y prime now there is some loss of information here which i which i cannot uh, explain much right now we'll do a separate video on this differential equation and things like this and there we'll talk about that so you lose some information about the the uh, 
fact that y is actually in the range of uh, octant. Okay. But now, uh, setting that aside for a moment, we now get y prime is tan y times 1 over x, and now it's in separable form. Okay. So maybe I'll just uh, do this a, a part of more steps here. So you get dy integral dx over x and plus you have to worry about stationary solution, the solution where tan y is 0. Okay, and now it's straightforward integration and there are some subtleties here which uh, which we'll do in a video when we talk about these kind of equations in detail. Okay, but the idea is that that your y prime is being multiplied by something and a function is being applied, you apply the inverse function of that to get rid of the function and then make it uh, this first degree and then once it's first degree then you see is it separable, in this case it is and you have simplified it. Okay, so three things we've done, separable but not explicit where you just sort of clear out the coefficient of y prime, this type of thing. Okay, then separable not in factorized form, you just have to do some factorization tricks. Okay, you use your algebra and your knowledge of the nature of the functions and then we had separable, not separable, not first degree, so you have to apply some function to invert the operation in y prime and then after you've done that then uh, maybe it becomes separable. Okay, and we did two examples of it here. Okay, great.